What's up, everyone? So I'm gonna do some editing for my previous uh, two suits with Maya and also Maya also. So two Mayas in Sacramento. So let's get started. So this one it was from the tennis court, my first sports fitness suit. So this one I was shooting through the net of the tennis court. So I used the XT2 23mm X1.4 a lot uh, recently. So I have been trying out different lens and then different lens had their own characteristic. So I adjust, I use the HP2 for this one because it has a darker tone. Uh, I like the darker tone for the tennis court because the tennis court Tennis court has a nice light blue in it, so I'm just doing some cropping and then make sure there's enough headroom, a little bit of headroom on top, and nicely like adding some contrast. If it's still too bright, I will reduce the exposure even a little bit more. So, and then I save this one. So once I save, because the next couple one has a similar one, and then I just copy, and then paste it. I can just do the same thing, like paste it. And, yep, so if if it's still, like sometimes when you paste it, and then it's still thought it's too strong, you can just reduce to 7.2 and then I can add a little bit more like that and all I need to do is just rotate a little bit and then do the cropping 4x5 by, by Instagram so let me change a little bit more so that's a nice uh, crop for me so I, I just feel like so it just make sure a little bit of headroom is fine because um, I have a nice light net surrounding her to blow out as a frame. So so I like this one. That's the editing one. And then this one I think I posted this one yesterday or the day before. So so I just readjust the uh, rotation and then crop 4x5 yep that's done so it's like taking around like one minute once you finish an edit with the similar location and lighting so it's a very quick workflow for me so I, I like to have like fast workflow because I like to edit on the fly that's the reason I choose the JPEG also uh, since I shoot a lot I shoot JPEG only because it's smaller and then I have a lot of picture in one shoot so this one um, with another Maya from Sacramento so first thing I will use the E5 for the overall tone touch up and reduce the exposure a little bit Increase the contrast, increase the sharpness, and then the highlight, reduce the highlight safe. And I will rotate so that it's uh, perpendicular to the ground. And then, so I will crop 4 by 5 As you can see on the left side, still have some room of the white area kind of like distracting me a little bit. So I'm going to crop that out. So just make sure that the edges are clean without all those white areas that distracted the eyes. So once you position the head nicely on the top third area, so that's cleaner to me. And then that's it. So I save it for Instagram. And then because the next one is similar, so I'm gonna just do a copy. Hold on, let me just do a copy and then paste the edit to this one so I will after, once once I paste it and I just need to adjust the rotation a little bit and then crop it in a little bit more 
So the good thing about the 23mm f1.4, it allows me a lot more room to crop. Even though 56 is still my favorite because the bokeh is really hard to beat for that one. But um, I like to use the 23 in a city like very crowded space that you have you need more room to work with. So the 23 definitely gives you more room to work with. So this one I use E5, increase the contrast a little bit, reduce the exposure, increase the sharpness and the highlight safe i think i can increase the contrast even a little bit more so that it's more dramatic uh like the dark gets a little bit darker and then i choose the four by five crop make sure the grass is in the third ratio area and that's it i'm done with this one and then this one is another sport style so I will use HP2, so it's darker, has a darker tone in it, and then but still maintain the sunlight tone from the sun, uh, point from the sun pointing toward the camera. So I will rotate slightly a little bit, but not too much. Uh, and then do the cropping, four by five crop. So make sure there's some uh, little bit of room from the bottom also to have some room to breathe from the ground. And next one, this one from the ground also. So it has a sunlight vibe. Anytime with the sunlight in the sunset hour, I will use the HB, uh, sorry, the E5 a lot because E5 has a nice brown tone in it. So I just need to rotate a little bit so that it's perpendicular to the ground and then do a crop on it make sure the head is in the top third area so I can increase so that it's more uh, uh, dramatic increase the, uh, the contrast so that's it I save this one the last one is similar to this one so I can just copy the edit and then paste it and then adjust. As you can see there's a dot right here kind of distracting on the side. I'm gonna crop that. So I'm gonna rotate a little bit and then crop that dot right there. If you have Snapseed, there's some patching tool, patch tools you can use to just do get rid of that dot because uh, those little dots kind of like distracted my eyes a little bit so I I want a little bit cleaner background so you can just crop it out like that you can crop it out still maintain a nice sunlight in the back so that's it that's my tutorial for my editing process uh, today so these are the images uh, from last couple days so thank you so much for your support in Instagram also. Then see you next time. Bye.